Good morning, everyone. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Yes, it is still dark o'clock. I wanted to get this video posted this morning. Coffee in hand, new shirt. <laughs> That's a big deal in my world. And uh, you have made this possible by buying me a cuppa. So thank you to, I actually have a list on my computer. Uh, thank you to Cheryl. Uh, Lisa gave me a gorgeous plant arrangement. Thank you for that. Uh, Melinda sent money. Peg sent money. Um, Patrice, you sent a cup of coffee and I don't have an email to tell you thank you. So thank you so much. Uh, Ilona, Mary sent money. Uh, Esther sent some amazing fingerless gloves. Oh my gosh, I've been uh, needing a pair. So that's very fun to have those. And uh, Susan... Gruber, G-R-U-B-E-R, -E is our new winner for the Purge box, since it kind of fell through the cracks uh, a, little, a little bit ago. So, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> My new top, I love it. And let's see, I know that uh, YouTube is bumping up their advertisements. So you may, may find more commercials on our videos, which I'm very sorry about that. I know YouTube has a, a membership that you can uh, pay for monthly so that you don't get the ads. So I'm putting it out there. You can do that. Or shall we go back to Patreon uh, for an affordable monthly fee so that you don't have uh, commercials? don't know. Kind of in a quandary. Pardon me about that because I don't want uh, all of the videos to be disturbed by a bunch of ads. So I'm throwing that out there to the village. What would you like to do about that? Just put up with the ads and have the videos for free or have a reasonable fee on Patreon or pay uh, and then have the videos uh, ad free or join uh, YouTube's thing, whatever it is, and, uh, and not have ads. So throwing that out there. All right, it is time to make Christmas gifts. Woohoo! So I have pulled out my cuddle bug and brown paper bags and a jelly plate, made some jelly prints, ran them through the cuddle bug, uh, embossed them, created a couple of journals for my granddaughters for Christmas, and uh, I love them. <laughs> I only had three um, composition notebooks to play with, and this is a no spend November, so I made three of them. <laughs> very, very fun. All right, I think that's all that I needed to touch base on this morning. Thank you, uh, new Purge Box winner. And what do you want to do about those ads? So there you have it. All right, my precious ones, see you on the table. Here's our project for today. It's actually a gift. I'm going to make these for my uh, granddaughters for Christmas. There's a place for a pen, Franken patches, uh, embossing machine, stays on ink, a little pocket here for stashing a little something something. Painted the back. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, this is this was just what I needed this morning. So much fun. Good morning, coffee in hand. I'm gonna make a little uh, journal. I have I used my cuddle bug uh, and brown paper bags, so I'll get these off the screen because I know that they're shiny. So I used A B B A B B, and for the brown paper bag it wasn't thick enough in the embosser, so I took a piece of uh, thin cardboard. Uh, looks like from Be Veggie Burgers. <laughs> So I put a piece of uh, thin cardboard down, the uh, paper in a uh, folder, an embossing folder, and then BB, and then ran that through my cuddle bug. Uh, I have my ruler, composition book, brush, Mod Podge, and these are jelly prints on uh, brown paper bags. Um, yeah, I just sprayed them and stenciled them and marked on them. This is some embossing powder on here. So I just had fun with different uh, folders. 
to emboss. I have a piece of leather here. And what I'm going to do is tear these into smaller pieces and glue them onto my composition book with Mod Podge. I have my jelly prints uh, ripped in different sizes and I am going to put Mod Podge on the composition book and start gluing things down. I am going to overlap and go for it. I want a pen holder on the side of the journal. Put some tacky glue down there. And then continue with the Franken patches. I didn't really like the leather there, so I'm going to double a brown paper bag piece and create a pen holder with that. And I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing on the back. I'm going to go around the edge and trim off the excess. Bring in my Saddle Brown Stays On ink. Do that to the other side. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to put a layer of Mod Podge on this to seal it. While that's drying, I'm going to take a piece of paper Fold it so that there's an edge there. Just go around the edge with the brown stays on. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and stitch around the edge. So I sewed around the edge on my machine. I will bring my Mod Podge in, put Mod Podge on the back of this. Bring the yummy journal back in. I think we'll put it this way. Bring in some Van Dyke brown hue. Paint around that. and let that dry. 
I'm going to paint the back cover with the Van Dyke brown hue. Let that dry. Okay, ta-da! A gorgeous journal. Place for a pen. I have some new pens around here someplace. I just have to <laughs> find them. A little pocket in here for storing things. I did paint the back of the journal with the uh, Van Dyke brown hue and the delicious Franken patches. So much fun. What a lovely gift. All right, your turn. Go create, go play, go have fun. Okay, some of you have asked me to show off a couple more girls with different hairstyles. These are my thank you cards with fabric. This is a piece of a dollar that I found on a walk. So there are four thank you cards that are going out into the mail.